how to solve square root 5i i mean square root complex number so first of all i can say it will be square root 5i times 2 over 2 look 2 to cancel again we are find out square root 5i then i can say it will be square root 5 times 2i over 2 then i can say it will be square root 5 over square root 2 times square root 2i then it will be square root 5 over square root 2 times square root 1 plus 2i minus 1 look 1 minus 1 it will be 0 and it will be square root 2i then it will be square root 5 over square root 2 times square root 1 square plus 2 times 1 times i plus i square then i can say it will be square root 5 over square root 2 times square root if i think it is a it is b so a square plus 2ab plus b square it will be a plus b whole square then i can say square root is cancel we'll find out the value of square root 5 by is plus minus square root 5 over square root 2 and 1 plus i this is our final answer now i solve this question's other method let square root 5 i is equal to x plus i y then i can say square root 5 i is equal to x plus i y i use both side whole square then i can say here is square root is cancelled so we'll find out here is 5 i is equal to we know that a plus b whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square according to this rule I, I can say x square plus 2xyi plus i square y square then it will be 0 plus 5i is equal to x square and we know that i square it will be minus 1 so minus 1 times plus it will be minus y square and here is 2xyi now if I compare the real part and imaginary part this time I can say here is x square minus y square is equal to 0 and here is 2xy is equal to 5 now this is our first equation and it is our second equation then we know that that e plus b whole square is equal to a minus b whole square plus 4 a b according to these rules i can say x square plus y square bracket power is 2 is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 a b a is x square and b is y square then i can say here is x square plus y square bracket power is 2 is equal to you know that x square minus y square it will be 0 so i can say 0 plus it will be 2xy bracket power is 2 then i can say here is x square plus y square bracket power is 2 and 2xy it will be 5 so 5 square then x square plus y square bracket power is 2 is equal to 25 then if i use both side square root so square root is cancelled so we we'll find out here is x square plus y square is equal to 5 so it is our third equation and our first equation is x square minus y square is equal to 0 so i can say here is x square minus y square is equal to 0 now i add both equation so i can say equation 3 plus equation 1 is equal to look x square plus x square it will be 2x square and plus y square minus y square it will be 0 and 5 plus 0 it will be 5 then this equation becomes if i divide both side 2 so i can say x square is equal to 5 over 
2. Then if I use both side square root, it will be x is equal to plus minus square root 5 over square root 2. Then if I subtract both equation, I mean third equation minus first equation, this time I can say here is x square minus x square it will be 0 and y square minus minus y square it will be y square minus minus it will be plus y square is equal to 5 minus 0 it will be 5. Then we will find out here is 2y square is equal to 5. Then if I divide both side 2 it will be y square is equal to 5 over 2. Then again I use both side square root. So square root is cancelled. So we will find out here is y is equal to square root 5 over square root 2. So, we will find out the value of x is square root 5 over square root 2 and value of y is square root 5 over square root 2. This is plus minus, this is plus minus and uh, this is plus and minus. Then, if I put this value in this case, so I can say x is plus minus square root 5 over square root 2 plus i times y is square root 5 over square root 2. Then I can say here is square root plus minus square root 5 over square root 2 is common. So it will be 1 and it will be i. So this is our final answer.